Hello, Internet. This is Lord Mad Dog, and we are playing Kerbal Space Program. Yes, last time we did some orbiting of ooh, what were the two planets? Ah, they're called Nemesis and Guardian. Yep, that's what we orbited. And then we also sent a crude orbit out to Nemesis. Yeah, Nemesis. And we returned back and we gained a decent amount of science. And we spent that science to enable us to actually have a space station. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put a space station in orbit. So let's jump right on in. So as last time, you, I was editing these things. I am changing to make sure we have enough science. I've also put some science gizmos on this thing since the last time. I've also replaced the, um, uh, the I've actually put, oh, what are they called inside them? <laughs> Screwdrivers instead of the wrenches. So we're going to go ahead and, ooh, nice. I'll grab those missions. But later, let's go ahead and launch our first space station. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is gonna be empty because we don't want anybody in it. All right, we hit, when you hit X, it jumps up. It's like that, okay. Space Station, and we'll have to change it. It's name here is to be Space Station Pegasus. Peg, you know what? I have no idea how to spell Pegasus. Uh, page, Peggy, Peggy, Sus, Pegos, Pe No, that's not right. You know what, let's just call it Space Station Peggy. I'll have to look it up and figure out how to actually change it. All right, so that worked. We've accept, we've completed that mission. Now we can get the next mission to send our first crew into space. Now, but to do that, we're going to have to buy scientist and engineer. That didn't give me what I wanted. Oh, it did not give me what I wanted at all. All right, so but to do that again. Uh, well, I'm not really getting what I want. Well, that'll work. I guess I'll have to go with what I got. Start mission. <laughs> I don't like how that works, the whole, that whole system. I have to buy all the curvils out to get the extra curvils you want. That really kind of sucks. But anyway, here we are. We are there. Inventory. We're going to pull out and grab ourselves a screwdriver. And now we're going to use Kerbal Attachment System to attach ourselves. Boom. Just like that. Yes, and it's a bit of a cheat, I know, but it's not actually a cheat. It's just um, how the system works, and I think in real life you'd be able to do it. I have enough Kerbals here. I just don't want to spend all the time that it would take to actually do it, because uh, you can you can move, if you get all your Kerbals together, you can move it slowly and slowly and slowly. It, it, I just, uh, so I just increased the range and movement of one Kerbal uh, according to how many Kerbals you actually have available. So instead of having to actually do all the logistics and pull out all the Kerbals and help them have them move, help you move them. Oh, it's possible I could just push it with my space, space station sting too. But by doing that, I just realized that we have to actually dock to complete that mission, add a new crew. So we will have to actually dock. And we're gonna send information to Peggy. Uh, with a little, um, what's that called, mod? So we just send some information. We also completed the mission without even realizing it. Oh, that's good. All right, so I did not complete that mission because I have to actually dock. I didn't dock. I should have put some do a docking system up here before. Well, it's okay. All right, yes, we got data. 1.7 data a day. All right. That's good. Science. No, we don't want that. Let's see. Oh, I didn't realize I could review, but I'll just do that. All right. So we now have a space station. And we have 142 science we can't do nothing with. We need to edit our um, our sick bot, which I've already kind of done outside of screen, but it didn't. I don't have all the science for it. So I'm going to need to change it. I actually imported my old sick bot. That's what I did. But it's missing pieces because I just realized I don't have. Um, I, I had to completely redo my own sick bot. Yeah. Or science bot. I always call it sick bot. But anyway. Uh, yeah, it's not working. We don't. Because uh, it was not compatible at the time when I first started to play this. Uh, updates and whatnot. So we. Uh, 
I am so sorry for keep going, uh, ooh, and uh, that's so stinking stupid. No. We do not have or the orbital science. So we will have to get that. Because you cannot do interstellar extended without the orbital science. It's just, you don't get enough science. You'd have to visit every single, get every single bull mine. Uh, and I still don't think you'd have enough. I think you'd have to wait a long time while your science thingies, your space stations, farmed out the science. So, yeah, we have to, oh, yes, explore Guardian. Oh, we want that. The new base, no. We don't have anything to build base yet. But we are going to go ahead and go ahead and launch to go to Guardian. Is we just put good, we put, put Jebed, uh, no, we put Bob Kerman into space, and now we're gonna go ahead and fly around Ker, uh, guard, to go to Guardian. That's what we're doing here, arranging it. But yes, I'll have to get the orbital map science, science, uh, science for 4.2. No, 4. Yeah, I think we got 4.2. That's where I'm at right now. 4.2. Yeah, yeah, four point two. That's what it is. That's what version I'm on right now. So I have to get the uh, orbital science once it's updated. I think it's unupdated. I think it's compatible now. The orbital magic. That's what it is. Yeah, it's just a bunch of little science gig thingies. We're putting ourselves a little. There we go. Perfect orbit. Well, not is that perfect, but we'll refine it after I get a little bit farther out. We'll add a maneuver right. here. Here, there we go. There we are. Opening perform all science. We want to send our science to Peggy. So Peggy has. We want to make sure Peggy has all the science he needs. Oh, not enough electrical charge. There we go. I have said uh, I put it on allow partial because we don't have the tech yet to mm, yeah other stuff yet. I'm trying to get to there this thingy. All right, let's go and fly to our periaps and burn retrograde. There we go. Yes. We've got a reward for doing something around Gordian. Okay, I think the flyby. I think that's the flyby. I'm not sure. Crude flyby. Here we are. We are now gathering science. And this may take a while. Almost actually said, uh, well, I'm gonna have to come back out here again once I actually have the orbital science, uh, orbital magic installed, but it's fine. You, have to, you usually have to go out see your, your two, two starting moons like three or four times before you can actually start launching probes because the technology limits this, those, uh, you need to do that. Actually, I find that you spend a good half of your game around your moons in the starting sector, uh, on your starting planet. Well, partial, here we go. So we just keep sending information back and forth. Actually, you probably really don't want to watch me do all this science stuff here because I have it all, try to have it all automated because, you know, clicking on every single object and hit and run experiment is super, super, super annoying. Especially when you're flying over like five or six ball mines every few seconds. There we go. I do think we're actually almost done though. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got to Station Peggy. We gave her a decent amount of science. 
All right, here should be inside our... Oh, no, we've only got three. What the heck? No? Must be... No? Huh. Huh, ah, that's weird. I should have had an insane amount of science in there. Send that to Peggy. Send to Peggy. Transport all the Peggy. Not enough electrical charge. Oh, yeah, for Pete's sake, we'll have to speed up and go around the moon again. There we go. There, now we're sending all the Peggy. I thought we already sent it all to Peggy three or four times, so I don't know what's going on. I need to rename Peggy. <laughs> Station Peggy. There we go, switch. Let's see if that worked. And, uh, we have to go ahead and find our experimental box. We've only got three here? No, that doesn't work. It must be storing it somewhere else. No, no. Ah, oh, there it is, 33. <laughs> it all went here. That's good. So we are now have 400 some science data and we're generating about three science a day. Well, five science a day. Sweet! <laughs> Especially when we start having to send probes out. That's a lot of science a day. I mean, because uh, usually the first probe takes at least a year and a half to get to things, so you're basically doing nothing for a year and a half except for letting your science build up in your science stations. All right. We are now need to leave Nemesis and fly back to Guardian. No, not we need to leave Guardian and fly back to Solitude. Yes, but we gotta just keep on trying to rearrange our our uh, launch until we get one that gets us in a good position around. Nope. Uh, see, you've gotta come out back there. That's closer. That's good. It's not a perfect positioning, but it'll, it'll, it'll allow us to have enough Delta V to land back on um, Solitude. There we are. Oh, yes, we just actually keep burning. Oh, that's really nice. Yes. Bring it in. Mm hmm. Bring, there we are. Actually, we're using a decent amount of Delta V here. Should be fine though. There we are! 73. Let's bring down the other side because I don't want to come in too hot. There are 25. So those are communication devices. We got another complete mission for something or another. Atmosphere analysis, which I can't do because I don't have my bays open. Let's open my bays. There we go. Get those data. Not really important, but it's nice. And we're just, just keep spinning around here. <laughs> we didn't have our SAS on, I don't think. Wee! Overheat. We're gonna lose all of our. Oh wow, we didn't lose them. Thought we we're gonna lose all of our solar panels, but we didn't. That's sweet. All right. Here we go. Release our parachutes. Drop down. We're gonna have to. We're going a tad bit too fast. So we will have to burn at the last second here. And burn, 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 boom. What a perfect landing. I'm Uber. There we go. Once again, we have got ourselves, let's see how much science, 500. Ah, that's not near as good as we got last time, but it's not bad. I, I thought we'd get like a thousand like we had gotten last time, but nope. All right, so we, 
are going to spend it on basically fuel objects because we're trying to get this right here which is actually what we do want. We have enough to get it. Ah, there we are, we have to upgrade. That's what was going on. There we are, now we're gonna build ourselves a massive launcher. We're gonna try to get a 100 ton low pay pay ton, the 100 ton payload into space. That is the object. So we can, so we had a six ton payload, now we're gonna have try to have a 100 ton payload in space. We're gonna try to do an Elon Musk. It won't look anywhere near as nice or pretty. Be Actually, you know what? Well, what? We'll go ahead and do this, this, this circular thing here. We gotta rearrange this. Because I, 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 I'd have to get, to be able to do an Elon Musk, I'd have to, because uh, I'd have to scale it to such size. I mean, just to have it, it, to make it go up, straight up, I'd have to get the one that allowed us to, what is it called? Br outside. It's a mod that allows you to build outside of the VAB because, well, you'd have to. There we are. It'd have to be so stick and tall, it'd be ridiculous to do this normally, I think. You know what? Next time I might try that. We'll see. So we're just building these small little things here. We're, now that we got that, we have 5k delta V. We should actually have more than that. I think it's slightly bugged. Oops, there we go. No, I put it messed up. There we go. Now, we need to add one of these because otherwise our probe core will burn down and melt away. Uh, we need batteries. There we go. Let's add a battery. And put the belt crow core right in there. Yes, perfect. And now we need to build our launch vessel, which will be a hundred ton. That's our goal, to make a launch vessel that's a hundred ton. We don't care what it looks like or how it acts, it just gotta be at least a hundred ton. It'd be nice if I had some reactors unlocked or or unlocked, because that would make it really easy to hit a hundred ton payload. But as it is, I can't hit a hundred ton, ton payload that easily. So we're going to try to make things work here. Uh, 300 back, 340 back. Just trying to make something that's actually slightly usable once we get it up there. I don't know what we're going to do with it. All right. So we're going to put that big one down to the side. Now save. I don't want to lose this. <laughs> All right. We have to have some battery power. We have to have a control, controlling unit, and we need, oh, we also need a lot of solar panels for power. And we're gonna put a sick bot on top, and communications on the sides. We're gonna put them on the right. There we go, put double that, because we're gonna probably send this off the pro as a probe sometime in the future. Yes. Scale, we're gonna have to scale the entire thing up because we're not even near the tonnage. Oh, there we are, close, very close to the tonnage now. We just gotta keep on messing with the scaling to make things just right. It was actually a lot easier to get to that tonnage than I thought it'd be. Let's scale this up too. Uh, we're getting closer. We're 96 ton right now. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this as our cap. So we're aerodynamic, which really matters right now. All right, let's see. I think that's that's pretty much it. We set that as our, our thrust hold. 
our point, we're going to launch and try out our launcher. We're trying to put this 100 ton payload into space and then return. There we use the cat and launch. Uh, we have a problem. There we go. I have got to actually start recording. That's what the problem was. <laughs> launch. Because of Kerbal Joint Reinforcement, I don't have to spend all the time using the... Hmm, the structure. Ooh, wait, no, it looks like we're going to have to do the structure reinforcements. Strutty. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to do strutty. Well, I don't know what just blew up. I don't think it's doing anything too important blew up yet. Uh, yeah, it's not working. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put struts, struts in. I thought I wouldn't have to. The pain of putting struts in. Yep, struts it is. <laughs> oh, I have to put struts on. There we go, put struts. Strut up, so that it doesn't happen again. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Because with Kerbal for Joint Reinforcement it means you don't have to spend all that time strutting. <sighs> now launch. This is working. We're going to put a 100 ton payload into space. That's what our goal is. Uh, ADK. Wait until we get out of, uh, into space, out of the atmosphere, so we have higher ISP. SP. Specific impulse. Why do I always call it ISP? It's SPI or something like that. And I've been getting them always backwards with like the STO single stage to orbit uh, step. I was always calling it SSO or SOS or something along those lines. But I've never been able to build a single single stage to orbit uh, plane. Just never been able to do it. I've tried and tried and tried. We might get around to doing something like that this time around because I need to be able to land on Wasteland and take off. All right, so we just released our payload. We made it into space with 100, 800 millimeters to, to spare. Which is pretty nice. Probably should have actually taken it up a bit higher but I didn't, so that's just how it works. And we're going to go ahead and go back down. Oh no, I hate it spinning. I don't like it spinning. Because when it spins, things blow apart. Come on, stop spinning. I can't figure out how to spinning. And I also want to change all the weight into the bottom ones. That way the bottom's the heaviest piece. But I don't have can't do that for some reason. Well, we're going to just let it spin and see what happens. Probably not going to end up well. Oops, no, wrong one. Uh, load. Had to load because it was just going to spin and blow away. Oh, I, I, know, I know better. Once it starts spinning like that, I have to come down and get a better angle. Get Keep things under control. I also ran out of battery power because I was on the wrong side of the planet. So I actually couldn't have stopped myself from blowing up. We, turn on SS, we turned off SA, uh, SAS because um, we're gonna actually just let it spin out this time. We may have to readjust our fall orbit because we're actually on the dark side of the moon here. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to readjust our style fallout orbit. That's too expensive. Make sure we actually come in on the sunny side of the moon. I mean, of the planet. We don't want to come in the dark side because then I can't control my fall. I run out of battery power. Ah, typical stuff. You just gotta always watch this stuff. There we go. We're coming into the dark side, keeping the SAS on, and have our. Yeah. Oh no, spin again. Here we go. 
electric charge, make sure we have enough electrical charge. And when doing trying to counteract the spinning, trying to control my fall, controlled descent. That's what we're trying to do, a controlled descent. And it's not working out too well. Well, there goes all my, no, they don't go, shoot. They're gonna go eventually though. With this wild, I oh, just lost all my solar panels. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna release my, <laughs> per, yep, I ran out of electricity. I need to stop trying to spin again. Keep that we actually have control. Might have to actually use a little bit of engine power when we go to land. All right, perfect descent almost. Without it, much loss. We did lose some stuff, but not much. And here we go, here we go. And eight, six, seven, six. Yeah! The big one! Look at that! It only costs 244K to launch 100 ton into space! Yes! All right! So I do believe we're gonna end it there this time though, um, because next time we're gonna build a, a bigger ship that can absolutely take us all the way, because now we have a hundred ton to deal with, we can actually build a big ship that would deliver us to a planet, and then we can fly off that planet and fly all the way back to Earth. Now that's the object. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Lord Mad Dog, signing off.